So, consider that for the past week we have been bathed in cosmic radiation that causes a number of known symptoms. I went back and watched one of my videos and I caught an instance of it before I had realized what was happening. And, uh, yeah, so factual errors happen. Um, it was a conflation more than a mistake because both instances that I had mixed up being the Unabomber and the Oklahoma City from a young age, I had always had that issue. And maybe it's because they're basically the same scenario played out differently. I don't know. Um, so anyways, I wanted to clarify that, that yes, I had a uh, factual error there and I am conceding that immediately as soon as I've noticed it. Here I am making my video. So, um, yeah, Timothy McVeigh uh, and Terry Nichols were not a team that I'm aware of. I don't know. It's the uh, shit was so confusing back then, conflicting narratives. And when you don't know to look for it, then you just get swept under with it. Um, that's what happens to a lot of people. So, uh, anyways, while I got this on, I'm going to keep this to a single vlog for the day or whatever. Um, I watched a really interesting Scott Adams video, and then I randomly found a really interesting Lee Stranahan video. And uh, not only did I notice that uh, Mr. Stranahan and I share a number of our uh, idiosyncratic speech patterns and such, um, but uh, I think that comes from the nature of the logic that is used, because that's how I am. So, um, yeah... Uh, I'm not the only person to notice that uh, Mr. Adams has really good points on a few things and in other ways does not at all seem to understand how the world works, or at least that's what he's portraying, whether or not that is true. So there. Um, as far as the other things that everybody seems to want to be talking about, at this stage, I am not believing anything at all as a safety precaution. Um, I don't trust that anything being brought out and given is correct or true. It may not have happened. It may have happened. If it did happen, then that really sucks for people that were affected by it. But regardless, the origin is the same. So um, it is... We can, I could take it to two, at most, two basic origins that may be at, uh, at play. One is the um, operating for far too long on very bad false premises can have some destructive consequences. Um, that may be part of it, or the fact that people are just not even noticing what's going on um, are overwhelmed by that same, and as such are not able to, to discern fully. And those of us who cannot help but be logical, I gotta tell you, man, I had some of those drowsy, confusion, hard to remember things moments um, over the past week uh, mostly on, you know, driving at night, which, you know, night side is away from the sun, solar wind, solar minimum. Uh, it was pretty gnarly. Uh, no caffeine would keep me awake. I had some pretty gnarly uh, palpitations going on, too, uh, both because of the, the experience as well as the, um, the amount of coffee I was drinking to keep myself at all aware. Um... Thankfully, uh, I have a self-aware heuristic that uh, is more than capable of uh, keeping me, you know, alive and where I need to be or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I did have to question whether or not I'd lost a day this week, and I don't think I lost one in a, a, a chronological or calendrical sense, but I think I lost one cumulatively. The amount of times that uh, the actual kiosk had to take over. Um, uh, little did I realize that uh, as this was occurring within itself, that I was basically growing and self-actualizing uh, mastered ultra instinct, for lack of a better term, um, around about the same time as it was being conceived of and authored, because that's the way it tends to go. Great minds think alike. It's what they do with them. I don't put them into an artistic sense like that necessarily, although it did originate with writing. But uh, anyways, um, so uh, I'm getting the sense that it is a lot less of an effect. So hopefully we're gaining some protection or whatever was passing by has subsided. Um, yeah. Let's see, is there anything else? Um, let's see, doubting the narratives. moon's been pretty cool um what 
little time there was to see it, the uh, EM clouds that were uh, in the sky the last probably three days were kind of, there wasn't much you could see through it. And it was just, oh God, that shit just reminded me of Highlander 2, you know? It was pretty, pretty freaky. Um, it's not entirely done, though. I mean, I can still see the some of the ripples and stuff going on in the cloud patterns and the shapes of them where they're forming along magnetic field lines. And uh, I don't know. Um, there's actually much going on in the personal life realm that uh, I'm not at liberty to speak of publicly. Um, and... Also, on the astral, ethereal, magical plane, um, there has been a bit of activity. Um, mostly, I've noticed the outgoing effects at a greater distance of the things that uh, I have set in motion previously, <coughs> including the uh, virtual ritual videos. Um, yeah, so that's about it, I think. Um, Yeah, the self-awareness thing is still a thing. People need to work on that. If you have or could, people that are capable but not doing it can be, you know, pushed into it a little bit. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. I'm going to cut it off at that. But um, just taking it easy today. Work for five days straight. Like I said, this uh, cosmic radiation shit, the solar minimum, the magnetic field. And the, the thing that, oh, it's going to take me a minute there. Um, the thing that uh, is, I don't think is being fully explained is that um, when the solar wind is blowing and it buffets up against the Earth's magnetic field, that is what causes the magneto tail to, like, teardrop out behind the Earth. But when, when the solar wind is not buff okay, let's say that these fingers here are the, the bow shock of the solar wind, so it's blowing that way. And so you've got this magneto tail, and it's... Right, but when the solar wind backs off and stops, and it goes like that, and there's not really a tail, and when the tail's out like this, there's actually a little bubble out again. So there's like a double. Can you see that in the light? Am I making a good enough shadow puppet? There's two. See, the Earth is contained within the big central one, and then the other one out there is basically a pocket that collects uh, those cosmic rays and keeps them away from us. And then the uh, Van Allen belts kind of act as the buffer as well. Well, when the solar minimum occurs the van allen belts deform and or weaken and the magnetic field uh goes back more into the toroid shape and less of a tail and as it does that the cosmic ray plasma that's already trapped has to go somewhere maybe it gets released uh but anyways anything further incoming after that is not going to have that pocket in the magneto tail to collect in nor the strong van allen belts to help shield it away from so it's not just the solar wind it's that that has an effect on the shape and action of the magnetic field so anyways, we were just basically in a ground state, rest state for the field at the same time as something like the pole of a neutron star or something bathed us. So, um, I don't know. It was pretty wild. Most people didn't notice it. Most people that heard or had mentioned to it doubted it. Um, but uh, I've actually heard a nice fair explanation of the actual science of it before anyway. And I can totally see where that is possibly what happened. Um, I would say it's a likelihood. So anyways, yeah, um, there, there are actual like mechanisms and things at play that, you know, it's, I'm, I'm a space geek, whereas the normies and, you know, homeboys and that's not right. Bros is the word. I don't say, I don't say homeboy cause people give it an, a racist undertone that it is not meant to have. Um, bros, dudes, people that are just, you know, <laughs> Uh, could be rednecks, could be whatever. Any of those types will just uh, pretty much, I will just go with normies. That's the best thing. Anybody who just is an average person does not have any particular talents or gifts and they just go through life and they're, you know, they're not necessarily an NPC. They're just not, you know, the, the, the curve is a curve for a reason. They're the center of it. So anyways, the bulge of the curve will tend to not understand or have done enough background research already to understand how the science of the solar system is a freaking amazing ballet of things that you can't see but if you can imagine it it's the most amazing stuff ever but these people either can't imagine or don't know about and so um that's why a lot of people will doubt and of course the f reactions to doubt are mockery with speaking of mockery and npcs and 
uh, lack of self-awareness. I had a little fun experience with that. Um, just uh, somebody had called the conspiracy crowd a hive mind for accusing a false flag. And it's like, yeah, but this is pretty obviously false. So if it isn't that, what is it? And I don't know. It's just you know, make fun of people for saying they have critical thinking while you're falling for the ruse. <laughs> there was a few other instances as people still throwing out their residual Trump derangement ripples and things just and say some bullshit. I had to debunk one of those. It was pretty funny because it was like blaming all this shit. Look at these fucking right wingers. Okay, you fucking tool. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Bye. Because the fucking dude that was a Democrat until last week. The really obvious fucking patsyism going on there. Whatever. So, yeah. It's just, it's been interesting. All this shit. An important electoral decision supposedly supposedly although i kind of think nothing is real these days um but a supposedly important decision making contest event is uh, afoot and at the same time there is this goddamn ridiculous mental interference on top of the existing propagandized and indoctrinated cultural cognitive dissonance and all this other shit just god what a fucking bad luck coincidence of everything like an existential threat on all levels. But not like, it's like the slow, creepy kind, not the freaking, you know, rock from space kind. That's just horrifying to me. So, anyways, I'm going to take this weekend off and be easy. And, uh, swear to fucking God, I will fucking third degree all of them. I will fucking. Straight up murder anybody that fucks with my groove this weekend. I'm not even joking. I'm not trying to have like a party weekend or anything. I'm just trying to be kind of low key and maybe hang out around the house and not have some fucking drama. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, so this concludes my vlog for the day. I'm going to attempt to stay off of YouTube. I don't think that these odd effects are over and I don't think I'm in a position to make any uh, logical statements on the whole. So. This is what logic does, even when there's, uh, you know, infirmity of the mind, for whatever reason. I'm, I'm in an odd mood with a weird place and lots of shit, and rather than say things I don't mean or whatever else, just, you know, take it easy. This is the logical path. If you don't like it, you want to make fun of me for that, cool, dude. Fucking kill yourself. I'll say that unabashedly. Kill yourself if you want to tell me that shit like what I've just said is wrong or crazy, because that's, that's not true, and it's, it's destructive more than it is helpful, and I am, well, let's see, last week I was, I was, I was about this far past done with it, this week I'm about this fucking far past done with it, and it's not going to go in a, a backward direction, it's moving forward with time, so, the dogs howl, yeah, surround everything holy, that, uh, will only keep getting worse so anyways i'm going to take this weekend off next week's going to be next week it's whatever it is i think it'll be all right we keep going keep doing that's all there is until we stop 